Well, let's see what day it is. I don't, I don't even know. It's 10.19 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday, September 1st. And I have 57 minutes of time on my phone. So I'm going to do the best I can to get all this mess done. I'm setting up my space, and I'll show it to you when I get it done. I have like a mini mobile altar all the time. Nothing fancy, just me. But I try. I feel like I want to learn, and I don't know. I just ain't going to learn if I don't do right. So. Here I am. Got my Palo Santo. This stuff smells so sweet. Keep thinking of Tammy and fire. And my husband thinks I'm not. That's okay. I don't care. I don't really know much about building an altar yet. I'm still learning. I just put things around me that I feel drawn to. So, I don't know. I need to find Tammy's thing on bells. I don't even know if she's done it yet. Got my bell though. So. I try to keep notes as best I can. Sometimes, tonight I don't feel like I'm supposed to keep notes. I don't know why, maybe I get lost in the stuff when I keep notes. I don't know. Anyhow, we'll see which ones do I can go on to. I don't know why that one always scares me. Gonna use this one because somebody said something about dragonflies to me. The secret language of light. Use that one. I'm gonna use the crow tarot. Star seed. Those are the ones I feel drawn to tonight. So, light my stuff back up because it keeps going out because it's so humid here.
that's a smart thing. Touches everything and uh, goes up to you. I'd like to ask you to help me to pull whatever cards it is that you want me to hear a message from that are for my highest good and for the highest good of anybody who happens to watch this video. I will never know who that might be, but I know you do. So, just ask that you speak through me and through the messages. So, amen. Others are very spiritual, and I think that's because I'm a Native American, even though I don't look like one. Cherokee. The feathers find me. Look at this one. Isn't it beautiful? It's just a feathery mess, just like me. All these little birds have left me beautiful feathers. My dad, my dad leaves me feathers all the time. I miss him. Every single day I miss him. Look at that one. This one's beautiful. So. Maybe the Four of Cups. Oh, sure. oh, and I wanted to show you what I put together. Here's my little makeshift mobile altar. Anyway, sorry for my hands being in the way. I'm not a professional. I drew my tarot, my tarot card, tarot card, whatever you call it. Pull that in a minute. I'm going to pull from the star seed. Maybe one of these days I'll do something better than just throwing my phone somewhere. Best I can do right now. Can I just get me a card and I'll get out tonight. The message that you have for our house again.
Forge don't follow. This is Spirit of the Animals. Oh, you know me, I love animals. And nature. Okay. White Stag Protector. Look, I got this not too long ago. Maybe somebody's trying to tell me something. Yeah. Secret language of light. I don't think I've pulled these out very often because they're hardly shuffled. Okay, God, show me what you want me to know about the secret language of light. Nothing has gone wrong. Yin and yang, here we go. Four of Cups. That's the tarot. I love these pictures. Of course, I love my crow. So, let's see what the tarot has to tell me. Four of Cups. The crow in the tree pays no attention to the cup in the sky. Wow. Nor has any interest in discovering the contents of the cups below. He sits detached from his community, unmotivated to do much of anything, and is bored by yet another shiny object. <laughs> oh, Lord. The Four of Cups speaks to a time of depression and the in inability to find anything to be excited about. You may be in a time of self-imposed darkness, whether it is from a disappointment or a bad relationship. The Four of Cups asks that you go inward and look for what brought you to this place of discontentment. It also may be a good time to take stock of all the things that have been going well, as that is the quickest way to raise low spirits. When the Four of Cup appears reversed, it may indicate hard work you have put in has paid off, and any hardship or difficulty will soon come to an end. I always like to read the reverse, but this one wasn't. 
And what stuck out to me about that is that you go inward and look for what brought you to the place of discontentment. It also may t t be a good time to take stock of all the things that have been going well, as this is the quickest way to raise low spirits. Attitude of gratitude. Gratitude always gets me out of depression. I'm going to tell you that right now. So that what I get from that Thank you, spirit because I have been struggling it's hard when you have to deal with things from others that you can't control it's hard so this one says forge don't follow pave a new path be the leader you wish you had. <laughs> Attitude of gratitude. Be the leader you wish you had. I was whining and pissing and moaning today because nobody takes care of me to myself. So I need to be the leader I wish I had. Wow. And here's the white stag that keeps coming up. Hello. Here's your sign, Andrea. White stag protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create best blessings with your magic. I need to go play in the forest. Got to find one. This one says nothing has gone wrong. Wow. I don't know if I missed something in these cards or what. I never opened them. Is there a book somewhere? I don't know. Nothing has gone wrong. I'm sorry. Here's what I was thinking today. Everything is falling apart. Everything has gone wrong and I can't fix it. And I was panicking inside because I can't fix anything. And things are happening to people I love and I can't fix it. And I just feel powerless to even try. I, I just, it's out of my hands. And I feel like everything has gone wrong. And then I get this. Nothing has gone wrong. <laughs> to me, yin and yang means balance. everything is as it's supposed to be and I don't have anything to be afraid of except my own crazy mind out to get me when I keep being told go inward go inward go inward go inward and I'm trying to do the best I can when you go inward, it's a very lonely walk. And I feel like I've been alone for a long time. I don't like that. <laughs> and I open these to put that up and I get that it says be community you are a powerful creator your work blesses everything you touch be open to receiving sweetness you are the queen of abundance wow <laughs> okay 
I know. I wish that I could play that. I want to play that. Because it's... <laughs> okay, Dad. This, this right here. This, that's from my dad. Wolf Clan. Wolf Clan. That's what we're from. Dog friend, today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. <laughs> I did have a little bit of time earlier today where something was a very, I did go inward. I didn't even know that this part of me was still um, lurking deep in the deep, deep crevices of my heart. It may sound crazy, but I had a conversation with someone that's gone on before me. And I asked that person to forgive me. And I asked for a sign that all was okay. And then a couple hours later, I um, stumbled. I was just scrolling around like I do, and this guy popped up, and his whole thing was about self-forgiveness and how everything was okay, and I needed to forgive myself. And I thought I had, but I think what I did was I just shoved it to the deep, dark crevices of my mind. And I didn't let it go. I wasn't paying attention to all the beauty around me. I wasn't paying attention to the full cups that God had right in front of me. Because I was too busy feeling bad about myself. Wow, it's been uh, very um, I don't even have the word for it. It's just been a very deep spiritual day for me. Because I didn't know I hadn't forgiven myself. And there's all this right here that cups full of who knows what that I don't even pay attention to because I haven't let go of things that happened years ago. And I didn't know I hadn't forgiven myself. So I think it's time for me to let me off the hook. Everybody else has. Even that person that's gone on. They have. So I don't know if this reading helped anybody, but it sure spoke to my heart tonight, so. Be blessed, everybody.